What's happening guys? Coming at you with another at home drill. This time, instead of a med ball, what we're gonna use, I got a PVC pipe, okay? For those that don't have random PVC pipes laying around the house, you can also use a broomstick or a mop or whatever has a four or five foot handle on it, okay? That'll work perfectly. Okay, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get to a good launch position, okay? So let's take that last drill, okay? Let's take the last drill of working to a good launch position, okay? Now let's kind of take it a step further, okay? That's why I like these two drills together. Okay, so we're gonna get to that launch. What we're gonna do with the PVC pipe or the broomstick is we're gonna have it just behind our back foot, okay? So that's gonna kind of be that spot where the hands, if we just draw a line straight down, that's where the hands are gonna be, okay? That's where the hands are gonna be. What we're gonna try to feel here, okay? We're gonna try to feel a couple things. We're gonna first feel good hip shoulder separation, okay? So we're gonna feel those hips really start to make that first initial move, okay? And then what we're gonna try to feel is as we start to turn those hips, we're gonna try to feel that upper body kind of hold rearward, okay? So we're gonna hold a good rearward turn with our upper body, with our shoulders, and that's gonna really allow us, as we go to fire with a real bat, that's gonna really allow us to feel ourselves get on plane really early with the barrel and allow us to really feel ourselves cover a lot of plate as we work out front, okay? So we're gonna feel that hip turn first, okay? So hips are gonna be moving this way, upper body's gonna hold and turn back behind, okay? So let's give a couple reps here. We should really feel a good squeeze, okay? Hips turn in, hips turn in, upper body holds and turn rearward.